Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, the minister of soul, Khadija. Okay, y'all, listen, this story right here um, really touched my heart in so many ways because um, it is definitely a mental health issue. And um, y'all know I believe that as, as as much as we peel back these layers, uh, the better off we'll be. And so I have, uh, I sympathize, I empathize. And I also relate to what Shaquille O'Neal has talked about and what he's going through. Uh, he reveals that the death of Kobe Bryant and his little sister still haunt him and he can't sleep, leaving him awake until 5 a.m. every night. Um, the Lakers legend comments appeared in the HBO documentary titled Shaq. Aisha Harrison Jex died from a three-year battle with cancer in 2019 at 40. And a year later, Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash in downtown L.A. Shaq and Bryant once won three back to back to back uh, championships together. And y'all know of their stormy relationship. Um, but they were brothers. And, you know, they didn't see eye to eye. But Kobe was a different breed. And everybody knew it. And Shaq was a big jerk. <laughs> and everybody knew it. But um, uh, as life went on, both men understood that there was something bigger than basketball, right? So appearing on this recently made HBO document, a mentary about his life, um, Shaq, the 50-year-old former Los Angeles Laker, revealed that the deaths of his terminally ill little sister, Aisha Harrison, um, from cancer at 40 years old, and Brian's sudden death in a helicopter crash um, just nearly took him out. He said, I don't go to bed till 5 a.m. ever since Kobe and my sister died. I can't sleep. And this is a mental health issue. It is a real issue. And it is an issue that I share with him. We don't share too many things. We don't share bank accounts. We don't even share the same. <laughs> we don't even share the same tax bracket. But we share this pain. And, um. Contrary, anyway, to what many NBA fans thought was the end of a fractious relationship between the Mamba and Shaq, the pair had mutual respect for each other after playing together in Los Angeles. Long after that, when Bryant dropped 60 points in the NBA final game against the Utah Jazz in April, Shaq set courtside to witness the shooting guard magic one last time. Kobe was something special, wasn't he? It was something special. And um, he also uh, commonly referred to Bryant as his little brother and considered him family, as portrayed in his speech at Bean's funeral from three years ago. O'Neal is left with the regret of not reaching out to him. It's also believed that he had a close relationship with with his younger sister, who had been battling cancer for three years before her death. Trying to put into words uh, the way Shaquille has reacted to this. And he's struggling. And when he struggles, we struggle. And he said live on the air in front of the show, other commentators, in, in, um, 
you know, Kenny the Jet and Charles Barkley. So he said, I mean, he said live on the air. He said we struggle with it. He struggles with this. And because he's one of our brothers and we feel for him tonight, our hearts are broken in Shaq's family and in our families as well. And that's what Ernie, Milwaukee's own Ernie Johnson had to say about this particular situation. I think his son finally uh, passed on after a battle with some health challenges. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver was also on the broadcast and sent his condolences to the O'Neill family at the time. From everyone in the league, but obviously from me personally, my condolences to Shaq, and I know all of you, uh, you're hurting because you're all so close to each other. O'Neill was selected to be inaugurated into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2016. The 50-year-old recently revealed his 40-pound weight loss and that his goal is to be in the underwear ad with his son, Sharif, Shakir, and Miles. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, Shaq. Good luck to you. They probably don't mind seeing them, the young fellas, but no. You might want to just stick to taking the pictures. Anyway, I mean, I get it. And I want to talk to anybody and everybody up under my voice who has lost somebody very close to you or, um, you know, and just dealing with the holidays and the loss of that individual. Um, as y'all all know, my brother was killed. And, um, of course, I still struggle with that. I have very hard time sleeping. My doctor um, said that um, he wanted to prescribe. Well, he did some ways to help me sleep. I uh, choose to use other methods. Um, like I like that CBD. I like anything that helps me to relax. I, I'm not a big pill popper. Or taker, okay? Because I know that can lead to other things. And uh, I just don't want it. And, and so with my history, I, I just try to stay away from that kind of stuff. Um, but I know it's very difficult. And then my father died. He turned around, he died. So then it it conjures up all. He died at that, that following July. So my brother died in February and my father died in July. And um, the year before that, the, uh, the girl I was raised with, young young lady that I was raised up, suddenly passed away. Um, and she was going to the bank. And I consider her my sister. Um, and then so, which continues the trauma. And then the trauma of my younger sister, who was a victim of um, domestic violence. And so the holidays are very difficult for me. But I try to, um, some of them I'm able to celebrate. And at least I've gotten to the point where I can talk to them now. Much more so I can say, wow, you know, I'm going to celebrate your birthday. But some of them are too fresh. And so fresh, I can't deal with them. And so I understand exactly what Shaq is talking about. So anybody else who's dealing with a loss of people that are very close to you and people that you love, I want you to know that we're all on the same team. Um, I wish for your mental clarity um, as I wish for my own. And may God bless and keep you. And know that as long as you keep your hand in the hand of the man, that steal the water and keep your hand in the hand of the one who comes to see. Take a look at yourself and then you can look at others differently. 
by putting your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. All right. I'll see y'all all in the next video. Thanks for listening. Let me know if you're dealing with something this holiday. And if you'd like to be prayed for. Uh, if you'd like to have some acknowledgement about. I'd be so glad to um, share that with you. And I just want to give um, you that time. Because you no need to be alone. No need to think that you're alone. It's real important. You know, it's like a. I hate to say it, it's like a morbid fraternity. However, a lot of us who grieve during this time period, we need people who understand what that's like. And in that way, you don't seem like such a Debbie Downer because you're around people that understand you. And that's very, extremely important. It's extremely important. You know, because there are some people who don't, who haven't been through that. I want to give a shout out to Carol Posey. Um, I know that she lost her grandson around this time or a little after. And she was very instrumental in trying to um, send healing vibrations this way to my family. So I definitely want to send the same healing and love out to her. Also to Marilyn Locke, whose son, Cal, on New Year's last year, my little cousin, I call him, he was um, shot, killed by some wazoos for, no, for the most ignorant reasons. I mean, and this is the sad part about it. Most of the people that are leaving here, in my community are leaving here in such a stupid fashion you know just just violence even to people who not aren't even violent even to people that never hardly find themselves in that type of situation you know they getting hit by stray bullets they getting hit by uh, somebody Ooh. shooting at somebody else and then shoot them i mean and then there's almost like nowhere to run Ooh. Like uh, Martha Reeves said, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And it's a, a very defeating situation. And I just hope coming up this New Year's, as the fools get out there and get to shooting, that you take in consideration that those bullets got to come down. You know, and it's a dumb celebration to me because we already got enough shooting. I don't even know why we got to shoot more. But I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Winston Kendall. Um, I want to give a shout out to Scoop. I also, I also want to give a shout out to Rita and everybody in Buffalo, New York, who I know. Um, wow, y'all going through some challenges there. And, and so my heart go out to each and every one of y'all, to the 39 people or 40 people who's lost their lives. So this family is dealing, these families are dealing with loss around the holiday. It's a holiday they won't never forget. Okay? So I just want to take the time to acknowledge these people. Um, and put a ring, a circle, a prayer around them. And, good, and send them good vibration because they need it. And this is what we need to do on a more conscious level. Pray for one another. Understand that it might be me today, but it could be you tomorrow. And the same pain you feel, I feel. Regardless of my color, all my gender, my preference anything it it transcends and it super super it supersedes all that grief is the same no so with that being said i think i've gone on far enough i just want to tell y'all um 
that my heart and my prayers are with you. And mainly that, you know, you're not alone. You are not alone. Shout out to Perfect Money, Sans Rich, Nessie J. Shout out to you as well today. Uh, Kristen, Scarlett, John Lucas. A lot of you guys, I just want to give a shout out to you. And um, thank you for joining the channel. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you for passing the channel. I'm so grateful. I'm just so grateful. Thank y'all for sharing the channel. It really helps. Thank you for watching all the commercials, even though I know that they're a little whack. We'll do better. And in 2023, I'm looking to do better. Uh, I'm looking to try to continue to master up a new lease on life. And so I wish all that for you as well. May God bless and keep you. And I'll see y'all in the next video.